Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement so the first message that we have here is there's so much going on behind the scenes okay so wow usually this card will point to a masculine energy that's going through something behind the scenes, but they're presenting very different on the surface, okay? But I'm getting a totally different message with this. Honestly, I feel like this is a message coming through from a higher power, or this could be a message from your higher selves here, because I feel mutual energy. But there's something that you both are experiencing right now, and I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages with this card here, okay? The first one is this. You both are kind of presenting a different way on the inside versus the outside. I feel like there could have been something recently where you both kind of did like an energetic release, okay? You and your masculine energy. And I feel like although you did this energetic release, there's also a lot of intention that you have set around this connection here. You may not be super duper focused on this at this time here, but I'm getting that you both have put intentions into the universe as it pertains to this connection. And what's interesting is that I'm getting, you both may have asked for this at the same time, or you may have asked for the same type of guidance or the same type of outcome, but I'm getting very um, dual kind of mutual energy here, okay? Um, and what's sticking out here is that although you may have set intentions for this connection here, for somehow the focus is on your individual journeys, or maybe you both were focused on some ways that you can kind of raise your energy, some ways that you can kind of get into alignment to kind of manifest a higher vibing connection here. But the focus is definitely on a high vibrational love. But the main thing that's sticking out is that you are not alone in asking for this. Your person, I'm getting the person that you're thinking about right now, asks the same thing. And this could have been at the, at the same time. Because this energy is coming through as if this is a higher power. Letting you know that there are things actually brewing. That you both being extremely intentional about something you both manifesting something, you both putting desires into the universe has actually took flight. And all those things, there, there's an energy coming through here making a clear separation between the 3D and the 5D, okay? The physical realm and the spiritual realm. So while things may be presenting a certain way in the physical realm, I feel like a higher power is coming through letting you know that there is so much going on behind the scenes. I feel like this message may be specific because this usually means something totally different, but I'm getting this extremely clearly at this time, okay? And this energy is very powerful. It's like a higher power is coming through very clear and concise, letting you know that there is a lot manifesting behind the scenes. I feel as if you both may feel as if something is on the horizon. I feel like you went through a period of feeling really stagnant, really stuck energy here, but I feel as if you both actually did some type of energetic release. I feel like there was just this, this overpowering energy or, or this energy of surrender where you felt as if you were being intentional, things were coming to pass, something definitely about the timing here, and you both just kind of released it. Maybe you did this at the same time. I'm getting mutual energy here, okay? So I feel like this is something you're actively doing. You may not be aware of this. I definitely feel what kind of that adverse energy, something about the exterior and the interior, okay? So internally, this is what you could be doing. You could be manifesting. You could have let go. You could have released, which is actually a part of the manifestation process. You may have been kind of um, kind of overanalyzing a little bit. And then for some reason, you both probably released at the same time. You released expectation. And because you did this, 
I definitely feel like you've activated something extremely powerful because a higher power is coming through saying there is a lot actually brewing behind the scenes regardless of what it looks like on the outside here. So I feel like this is a direct confirmation for a divine feminine to let you know that what you're seeking or the person that you are seeking is actually seeking you. Yeah, that came through extremely clear. And you'll be able to know that this message is for you or know that this energy is resonating with you because I feel like there's been a change in your attitude. There's been a change in your energy. I feel really, really excited, like really anxious energy as if something is brewing, okay? Something is brewing behind the scenes here. Um, and this time, I, I just got clearly, this time feels different. So I'm getting that this is a feminine energy who is prone to manifesting things. You've seen things come into fruition, but something about this time is presenting very, very different, okay? So yes, let's go ahead and get into the next message. Yeah, I'm also getting that you'll know this message is for you if you've just been feeling really, really good lately. After a period of feeling really unsure, really murky kind of energy here, if there was like this sudden switch, okay, then you definitely know that there's a major recalibration that's happening. Let's get the next message. Wow. The next message we have here is, you crack the code. Wow, okay. So I just got this very clearly, your worlds are about to collide. I'm getting that this energy is creating a very, very strong pull towards one another. And I feel like in the past, there could have been like this repelling kind of energy that you felt. And this was mainly due to the imbalance of your masculine and feminine energies in this connection. So you both, when you went through this process of manifestation or either release or clearing, the main thing that you were concerned about was what were the blockages, okay? Standing in between you and what it is that you wanted in life and love. But I'm getting mainly that you kind of turned this energy inward. I'm getting you got really clear and concise about how it is that you want your life to look at this stage. And because you were so intentional, because you both were so intentional, you have unlocked some very, very powerful activations in the spiritual realm, okay? I definitely feel like there's a higher power over this connection. Um, and there's so much that's going on behind the scenes, behind the scenes right now. But yeah, you cracked the code, okay? Um, you found out some type of secret or you're being guided in the direction of finding out here, okay? So I'm getting that there may have been a sudden shift in your energy where you may be pulled into a more action-oriented energy. This is for the divine feminine, okay? And this is ha this is actually happening to help you balance. There's a major recalibration here. I feel like if you both, if you were aligning with your person in the past, there was a major imbalance. And you cracked the code. So divine feminine, lately your energy just may be really really upbeat you may just really be prone to taking action um because there could have been this overwhelming energy of you really really being in your in your in your nature just thinking about things really being in the spiritual realm and not being so grounded okay and i feel like your spare guides have been trying to ground you to you know really rebalance your energy out and there's also something happening with the masculine as well so the masculines can go into this phase of them being really in their bodies, them being really active, them taking action on things here. But some of them may even be overworked, okay? They could have been exerting their energy literally to the point of burnout. And their bodies, you know, kind of force them to go into a more quiet time, to go more into their mind, to go more into their heart space. And this is 
actually causing a really, really powerful transition. But I'm getting that you both may not know what the other is experiencing because for some reason, this reason, I mean, this reading is pointing to just external and internal energy, physical realm, spiritual realm, okay? Just very, very powerful, I feel like. There's so much that is happening, okay? And you both may not have any idea of what the other is going through right now, but for some reason you feel as if you're being intuitively led or intuitively guided to do certain things. And it's kind of like your soul is guiding you at this time. You may not know why it is you're doing what you're doing, okay? But it feels good to you. And because it feels good to you, you're doing more of it, okay? This is ha this is actually happening to help you balance out your energies. So Divine Feminine, where you, where you may have taken a more spiritual um, path, where you may be really focused on meditating, healing, okay? Tapping into that internal process. For some reason, there's kind of been this switch. You may be led to take action to do things. You may be moving your body in a certain type of way. You may be, you know, um, using your hands more. It's something about being more active, okay? And this is making you feel really, really good because you're starting to feel more grounded. You're starting to feel more balanced here. So not so much in your head about things, okay? There could have been a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing, okay? So your energy is definitely being grounded. And for the Divine Masculine, there could have been an overexertion of energy. And now they've had some time to kind of, you know, balance themselves out, get more rest, okay, go into a more meditative state, tap in with their inner compass here. So you both have cracked a major code, okay? And this is really, really preparing you for something. I keep, get, I keep getting that you're being prepared, okay? intuitively led, you're being guided, you're being prepared, but you may not know. You may just feel this urge to do something different, but whatever it is that you're doing, I'm getting it's very enjoyable. And you're paying close attention to your emotions at this time because your emotions is kind of your compass. It's kind of letting you know that you're going in the direction of your soul, okay? I feel like this is very specific. This may be a very spiritual kind of reading. So if you're resonating with this so far, you have a very spiritual, high vibing connection with your person, okay? And I definitely feel like your higher selves is coming through because there's definitely a higher power that's over this connection that's kind of confirming that things are happening. Whatever request that you put out into the universe, has been received, okay? And there's major, major action brewing in the spiritual realm at this time, okay? So let's go ahead and get the next message here. So the next message we have is, oh, sorry. I can't open up to anyone else. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's definitely something happening here, okay? You both don't really have a clear understanding of what's going on at this time. And because of this, I'm getting that you're taking this very personal and you want to keep this to yourselves. You're taking this stage of your life extremely personal. And I'm getting that you're not being as open with matters of your heart at this time unless you feel called to do so. For some reason, your intuition is very, very important at this stage of your life, okay? You may feel as if you don't wanna open this up to anyone else, okay? You feel like also that there's something happening, but you don't wanna interfere with this higher power, okay? Um, this is a very serious energy surrounding this. Some of you were even divinely guided not to say anything as it pertains specifically to your manifestations or about your love life, okay? There's a very protective kind of energy around this. This, this may just be how you feel at the stage of your life here. And I feel like you've always kind of held this connection really, really close to your heart. And you know that this is way too sacred. So you both are moving very differently now. 
usually this message, I want to point this out as well. Usually this message would be mainly the divine masculine and how the divine masculine is feeling about the divine feminine. But for some reason, there's like this marrying energy, heavy marrying energy, very mutual, very much so on the same page. So the message I keep getting is like what you are seeking is also seeking you. So your process, your spiritual process is almost identical to your person's, okay? But your physical, in this physical realm, it may appear to be very different. But behind the scenes, a higher power is coming through letting you know the spiritual aspect of this is very much the same, okay? So I hope that makes sense because that's coming through very, very clearly for you, okay? Um, and I'm also getting that this energy with I can't open up to anyone else, there's something very secretive about this, but in a very, very sacred way. And you both feel this way about the other. You both feel this way about the connection. And it's like there's this path and you're both being led down this path. You don't know where you're going, but you're excited and you're nervous and you know that you can't look back, okay? And you know that this is your path specifically to travel. So you're being very protective about who you let in on the stage of your life and on this particular manifestation process, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you haven't told anyone about this. And this is something that you really, really hold hold close to your heart space. You both are holding this very, very close to your heart space right now. And maybe you feel as if others wouldn't understand this, or maybe you have opened up in the past um, to a certain degree, and you feel as if you were heavily misunderstood. As it pertains to just twin flame energy, I try to stress this, that this type of connection is extremely rare. And a lot of people don't understand what it is that you go through in this journey. So some people can just write you off as being crazy. You know, you may have a lot of um, physical sensations. You may see signs, you may see synchronicities. And people may just say, oh, you know, that's crazy because they've never experienced anything with this level of intensity. So I feel like as you go through the journey, you may begin in the beginning being very open, letting people know what it is that you feel, how you feel about your person, what it is that you experience. And then you get to some point where it just becomes really sacred and it just becomes something that's kind of held close to your heart. It's really just between you and God, okay, and your person. Something very spiritual, it's something very spiritual about this message, okay? Um, but I'm also getting that you both at this stage feel like you don't really understand what's going on and that's normal because there's a lot of times when you know this this is taking you down a path where you really it's like walking into the unknown okay it's a very very spiritual process and it's something different than you've ever experienced with any other connection in your life okay this is love on a much, much deeper level. And so you have even, you've either been divinely guided not to open this up to anyone, or you have actually learned through trial and error not to open this up to anyone unless you are divinely guided to, or unless you are in a safe space with other people, other beautiful souls that are going through this, this same journey with you. But at this stage of your life, you're very, very protective. It's almost as if you're coming through like, I can't say anything about this. Your masculine is feeling this as well, okay? Because they're going through very, very spirit, very, very powerful spiritual experiences at this time. And Divine Feminine, you are very familiar with the spiritual aspect of this journey. I feel like this masculine is getting deeper into that, okay? As something in their lives has kind of slowed them down recently and it's kind of forced them into this more spiritual aspect of the connection, okay? Getting them really, really comfortable with being intuitively led, which is something that may be very uncomfortable for them, okay? It's like they were kind of forced at it, okay? 
So I feel like there are some very powerful things that are happening to the both of you to create this massive recalibration because there was an imbalance of energies which may have forced you both to kind of energetically release, okay? But at the same time, because, you know, your higher power knows your heart space, it knows your desires, even if you consciously want to put a blockage or want to put an end to something unconsciously, you know, your heart is, is guiding you, your soul is guiding you, okay? And I feel like whatever intentions that you put out there, whatever you're thinking about unconsciously, which is manifesting this, but manifesting this from a very high vibrational place, it's like, you know, your higher power is coming through saying, we've received your request, okay? You both are actively manifesting each other at the same time, even though in the 3D, this may prevent, this, this may present itself as something totally different, okay? Um, I'm cl I clearly keep getting what you are seeking is seeking you. And it's coming through so powerful and so intense, like the energy in this reading is so intense. Um, and I feel like it's because you both are manifesting this at the same time or you're asking for the same thing, okay? So let's go ahead and get the next message here. So the next message we have is, I'm seeing signs everywhere. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm picking up specifically on a divine feminine who has this very secret language with your person. And this is deeper than like telepathic connection. This is deeper than a telepathic communication, okay? It's more than that. It's like you feel like you are so bonded with your person, okay, that you actively communicate with them. And I'm getting like on an everyday basis. Even if you're at a distance, I'm getting you can feel your person. And this may sound very crazy when I say this, but it's coming through just like this you feel as if they live inside of you or like there's been this merge that you have with your person here. It's like you can speak to them whenever you want to speak to them. It's like they speak to you. You can hear them clearly here. Um, but again, it's like very, very secretive. So no one knows that you're doing this. Again, I'm talking about spiritual versus physical realm here. That's coming through very clearly. But this is, it's like your higher self is coming through letting you know that all of this is kind of being recorded and all of this is being kind of accounted for. And you're not alone in this. You know, a lot of times the divine feminine, you can ask yourself, am I crazy for feeling this way? You know, is my person feeling this too? This energy is coming through so strongly because you both are literally having the same experience, but in very, very different ways. And your spiritual experience is heavily different from your physical experience. Your 5D activity is very different from your 3D activity, okay? That's being pointed out very clearly here. Um, but as far as the signs, you see the signs everywhere. Your person has become a part of your physical reality. The spiritual and the physical is beginning to merge here. And this is also, I'm getting clearly, this is how you know that it's real. This is how you know that what you're seeing and what you're feeling, the things that you can't see, but you can feel, this is how you know it's real because it shows up in your physical reality. This is a massive affirmation or confirmation for a divine feminine out there. You see the signs everywhere. You can't go a day without feeling like the universe is communicating with you or your person is communicating to you through the universe. This is, this is them kind of reaffirming you. This is a higher power reaffirming this connection that you both were initiated to go on together here. 
So if you are in doubt about what your person is feeling and they're from a distance from you and you know that they feel this, you know that you're not alone in this. This is confirmation letting you know that you're not. So the same way that you're seeing signs everywhere, they're seeing the signs everywhere as well, okay? And I feel like the main thing that's pointed out here because I keep getting like secret language, secret journey, you know, like this is something that is so near and dear to you both that spiritually you have so much communication. There's telepathic communication, there's merging, there's synchronicities, there's signs from the universe, but in your 3D realm, in your reality, maybe no one else knows about this. Maybe you have people that are really close to you. Maybe you have core relationships and you have not opened this up to anyone just because of how spiritual and how sacred this is, okay? And this may be very specific. This may not be for everyone, but this is a very, very spiritual kind of message here. So I feel like there is heavy activity going on in the 5D right now. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, I'm, also, I'm getting that, yeah, you feel their energy everywhere, you see them everywhere. Um, powerful, powerful manifestation power that is unlocking something here. You both have really cracked the code, okay? And there's, there's a light energy that's coming through here that's kind of over this connection that's letting you know that your heart's desires are literally coming into fruition. Your hearts are literally shifting and moving things in the 3D because you both are being pulled, like there's a heavy pull towards one another at this time. So you may feel very, very powerful energy. You may feel drained, okay? You may just be thinking about them a lot. You may feel consumed with their energy. And this could be motivating you to kind of exert your energy in a different way, Divine Feminine, to do things more active. Maybe you're working out, maybe you're going for a walk in nature, maybe you're utilizing your creative expression. You're trying to, it's almost as if um, a higher power is trying to get you to kind of exert this heavy, heavy spiritual energy into something physical, okay? To help ground you out, to help balance you because it's powerful activations happening at this time. And the masculine is feeling this too because they're being forced, okay? They've been maybe exerting too much physical energy to the point of burnout, to the point of overexertion, where they're being kind of forced into a more quiet time, a more sacred space, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, I'm not sure what's ahead of us. Yeah. I'm getting clearly because I just got shadow energy. So this is your biggest doubt or your biggest concern as it pertains to this, to this connection here. I feel like when you shift from this kind of upbeat, this kind of light energy and being in the flow energy, this could be what this this could be what it is that you're feeling, what it is that both of you are feeling. It's like you're not sure you have this level of uncertainty because you feel as if you're being guided down this path to the unknown here. Okay, um, I'm getting, and I'm getting that you're you're completely validated in feeling like this. Okay, and if your masculine could be completely honest with you, they would tell you that they don't have any idea what's happening. Okay, sometimes this feels impossible, maybe because they don't have all the details. The details are left to the Most High. Okay. They just know that they're being guided. The one thing that they are sure about as it pertains to this connection is that it's you. That's the one thing that they are absolutely without a doubt sure about, that you are their person. Now, if they were to be completely honest as it pertains to the details, the when, they know that divine timing is at play because the divine is what brought them into your life. The divine is what made you both cross paths here. So it's almost as if the, the divine masculine may be at this place where they're in a massive state of surrender and really allowing 
the most high to kind of navigate all of this. But there's definitely um, a shift with them being intuitively led towards you, okay? They're being guided to trust those intuitive nudges, okay? Because they're guiding them exactly to where it is that they need to be. And you both are being guided at the same time, right? And I'm getting clearly that unconsciously you're being guided towards one another. Yeah, a higher power has definitely stepped in, right? <laughs> and there's like this massive recalibration of the energies because I feel like when you came into contact with one another, there could have been a major imbalance. And that could have caused, you know, this kind of repelling kind of energy because I keep getting magnetic. But there's there's a, a heavy emphasis on like opposite, right? So there's like maybe at times you feel massively repelled from your person, okay? Something about their energy really threw you off. They could be feeling this way about you too, Divine Feminine. But something happened so that when you come together, there's going to be a massive pull again okay your words are about to collide but it'll be from a higher perspective okay but yeah this is this this is the shadow part of it i feel like you both share these same sentiments you both feel it's like you know i'm not sure how this is going to come together i just know that i was initiated to go on this journey i know that i'm being intuitively led down this path sometimes it gets lonely sometimes it's dark Sometimes I know, I know what's coming. Sometimes I, I don't know what's coming. All I know is that I can't go back. All I know is that my life has changed and it will never go back to what it was, okay? So you both are kind of getting to this point where it's like, you know, I surrender. You know, I surrender to the most high. I'm going to allow this to unfold in the way that it's supposed to unfold here, right? So I feel like this, this is like that energy that that doubt coming through but i feel like there's also like a higher perspective of that as well this is probably the the lower um perspective where you feel the doubt you feel the fear and then there's a higher perspective of that trust of letting your soul guide you as well okay let's get the next message here Wow. The last message we have is my access to you is being restricted. Okay. And this message, here's another card coming through with a different meaning. Okay. This would usually mean that as your masculine is trying to access your energy, there's a higher power that's blocking them until they heal or until they do the necessary work. But if this message is resonating with you, then this means that clearly the way that you access your person has shifted. And because you both have been activated, okay, and you both are going through this major recalibration with rebalancing your energies, you're beginning to experience life and one another from a higher timeline. You will no longer be able to access your person from a lower energy portal, okay? Meaning that in order to align with them, it has to come through love. It has to come through first from, from the heart space. This is definitely powerful energy. I also feel like this is very personal, okay? Um, this is powerful masculine and powerful feminine energy. I feel like you have a higher purpose on this planet. I feel like it's something powerful that you are supposed to do. And you are finally unlocking that power, okay? By first turning your your focus inward and really trying to activate your divine power, really trying to align with a higher timeline for yourself, okay? But there's definitely, overall, there's definitely something brewing behind the scenes and you both can feel it. And I feel like there's kind of this unspoken thing that's going on right now. You may not even be communicating this with one another because there is this adverse kind of energy where there's things happening in the spiritual realm versus what's happening in the physical realm and they appear to be very different, maybe almost polar opposite, okay? But I'm getting that your energy specifically, how to know that you're going down the right path, how to know that you're aligning is your energy will tell you, your inner compass is literally guiding you. So you may definitely feel intuitive, intuitively led to do certain things, you may feel internal nudges, 
Um, and this is because your soul is guiding you. Your soul is helping you to align with your highest timeline, okay? And you both are feeling this at this time. Also, another thing to point out is that there are a lot of dual meanings in this reading, okay? A lot of underlying messages, a lot of secret messages here. So I feel like this could be happening in your lives as well, okay? You could feel as if you're receiving signs and, and things that, that just mean, like, mean something deeper here or like everything is more than what meets the eye at this time. But there's definitely some something very spiritual happening here in the 3D. But the 5D is very active as well. So you're being flooded. You both are being flooded with massive signs and sinks at this time because you are being led to one another, okay? Everything is not what it seems. So be very mindful about how things are appearing in the 3D right now because the higher power is coming through letting you know that things are brewing, okay? And there's a much deeper reason. But overall, I'm getting clearly that everything is working out for your highest good, okay? And for the higher good of this connection. So this may have been very, very specific. I was not um, anticipating the message to go this route, okay? But sometimes the readings go that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.